Good morning guys, so I just woke up. It is around 8.30. So today I decided to do a vlog style morning routine. Um, so my morning routine has changed drastically. It has changed, it's very different from my last morning routine you've seen. Um, I have like a strict schedule. I wanted to start waking up at 8.30 or around 8.30. Yesterday, it didn't happen. On the weekends, I like to let loose. I don't stick to a morning routine. But yesterday, I didn't. I still stuck to my morning routine, even though I woke up around 11. Um, so, yeah. So, as soon as I get out of bed, I don't get on my phone until I make breakfast. After I make breakfast, then I can be on my phone. So I wake up, check my phone, and then when I get out of bed, I do my eye routine. I told you guys in a vlog that I, I think around last year, um, last year I told you in a vlog that I have blepharitis. Um, I'm going to show you guys what I do with that. Um, I also do it in the evening time before I go to bed. And then I make breakfast. And then I get dressed. I get ready for the day. And then I read for 30 minutes. And then I do any chores that I have to do. Dishes or laundry. Alright guys, so the first thing I do is obviously I brush my hair because, you know, even though even if my brother's here or even if I'm by myself, I mean, my hair's a little crazy, so, you know, I gotta brush it down a little bit. And so the first thing I do with my eyes, since I told you I have blepharitis, um, if you want me to make a whole video on that, on... And when I got diagnosed with it, um, why I have it, uh, how long I could have it for, other things. You know, I've been to the eye doctor many times after I've gotten diagnosed with that. If you want me to do a whole video on that, let me know down in the comments. So the first thing I do is I take a really warm washcloth and I get all the crusties out of my eyes sometimes. If I'm feeling it, I will heat up a hot compress and put those on my eyes to loosen it up. Um, but if I'm feeling lazy like I am today, I will just um, use a warm washcloth. And then I will take this eye wash that I use twice a day, morning and night, that I got prescribed by my eye doctor. It is this hypochlor eye wash that I got from Amazon because um, the eye wash that I get from Walgreens is really expensive. This was on the cheaper side, so that's why they got it. So I use that. And then if my eyes are red, I like to use these only twice a day. Okay, I don't like to use these very much, but they're very, very helpful. They're the number one eye drops. Because me and my mom both use them. She uses them for our allergies. And then we run out of them. We go try and find them. They're all gone. They're all out of stock. So we have to get them from Amazon. So they are the Lumify Drops. So if it is really red, I will use them once in the morning and then at night. But right now, they're looking pretty good. So I'm going to do all the rest and not use my eye drops.
All right, guys, so now that that is finished, I am all done with my eye routine. I also, in the morning, make my bed as soon as I get out of bed, but I didn't want to show that. Um, but I did make my bed, and now we're going to head to the kitchen and make some breakfast. I am going to have some French toast. I am starving. I have not eaten since 6.30 last night, which was dinner. I had my break at work from 6.30 to 7. Usually when I come home, I will snack before I go to bed, which is the worst thing to do, but I do it anyway. But I didn't. I got home after 11, and I was super tired, so I went straight to bed. I told you guys that I was going to get dressed and get ready after I um, eat breakfast, but I decided to read in my pajamas, in my comfy clothes, under a blanket in my sitting area that I'm in, my little corner where I like to read over here. Um, but before I do that and end the morning routine, um, I want to just, since this isn't a day in the life, I have a pretty eventful packed day i guess day off um but i'm not filming it um but might as well um share with you guys what i got planned for today um class i showed you guys in a in a recent day in the life i got this planner and i wrote down what i have planned for today uh let's see where are you? Um, so today is Tuesday, it's my day off. Basically, I wrote a whole to-do list to do yesterday, but I'm gonna do it today. Um, so I set filming the morning routine. Um, I'm gonna read and get ready. And then I'm going to go through some work stuff. Some stuff for work is about to be my one year at work. So I had so I had something come through the mail that I, that I am eligible for for my one year. So I'm going to sign up for that. Um I might edit a YouTube video. Um I worked out yesterday, so I don't need to do that. I don't need to shower. Um, I'll eat lunch at some point. Um, I might actually do some painting. I might look up a new painting technique. I might have a block for that either before or after lunch. And then I'm gonna go swing by Best Buy. Go look for a tripod for my camera. See how much those are. Um, I'm going to look for a camera battery for my digital camera. And I would like to look for a car tripod. And I think that's about it. And then later tonight at around 6.45, I'm going to go to Guy Rose, which is a young adult ministry at a church nearby where I live. And that's pretty much it. Alright guys, so the book I am reading is called The Woman in the Window. I got it from Target. I originally was going to get this other book instead, but then I, I was walking out of the book aisle and I saw this. It caught my eye. I read the back of it, which I will read to you. 
And I got it. Anne Fox lives alone, a recluse in her New York City home. Unable to venture outside, she spends her day drinking wine, maybe too much, wanting old movies, watching old movies, recalling happier times, and spying on her neighbors. Then the Russells move into the house across the way. A father, a mother, their teenage son, the perfect family. But when Anne gazes out her window one night, sees something she shouldn't, her world be begins to crumble and its shocking and its shocking secrets are laid bare. What is real? What is imagined? Who is in danger? Who is in control in this diabolically gripping thriller? No one and nothing is what it seems. Yeah, I am thoroughly enjoying it so far. It is very different. The writing is very different from any other book I've ever read. It is it is a young adult adult book the way it is written. Alright guys, so as you can tell, I'm in a bathing suit. I am actually gonna go tan. Um, I'm gonna go take the chance I can now to go tan because it's partly cloudy, not too hot, not too sunny, and I'm not really in the mood to paint today, and I'm really sore from my workout yesterday, so I might be in the mood to paint on Thursday. I don't work until 4, so I'm going to go tan. Um, it's, it's actually a little bit later. It is almost 12.30. I actually, after I read, fell back asleep. I went back to bed, got back in bed till about 12, and I decided to go tan. So I'm gonna go tan, and yeah, so that's the end of my morning routine. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, that is my new and improved morning routine. I love it. Um, it gets me off my phone in the morning, most of the morning, and just to have the morning to myself, um, to wake up that early, actually have time to go work out, actually have time to eat a good breakfast, get my reading in for 30 minutes, to do something other than scrolling through my phone, bunch of nothing. And yeah, so don't forget to like, comment below any video ideas. I really would like some of your guys' suggestions. Also, um, don't forget to comment, uh, any questions you want me to answer in a future Q&A, because I would love to do a future Q&A once I get my camera battery charger, so that way I can use my phone to look at the questions. Yeah, and as always, smile more.